There's been lots of confusion across the healthcare spectrum around meaningful use, quality metrics, whether they be PQRI or other things from CMS. And what the, what the REC has been able to do is translate that for providers and help them navigate the complexity from meaningful use in HIE to, to real quality improvements in, in healthcare delivery. We have an um, electronic health record. We are not specialists in IT. The security um, guidelines, besides all the clinical part of meaningful use, the IT part was a little overwhelming. Uh, it was clear that we would need some expertise and help. But we turned to Gemma at the um, Health InfoNet to help us with that specific objective. Um, the more we read, the more we realized we couldn't do that one ourselves. For me personally, the one of the biggest changes has been when I'm on call, I can be live in the patient's chart, whether I'm at home, whether I'm in the hospital, and I can see everything. I can actually see the ultrasound images um, yeah, right live. You know, So I'm talking to somebody who's having first trimester bleeding, I can literally be looking at their ultrasound and be talking to them about what it showed. Just a little over 70% of all hospital-based activity, inpatient, outpatient, emergency, flowing through the exchange. We have 32 of the 39 under contract. That represents 90% of all hospital-based activity in the state. So we are at a significant level of penetration. People have come in with abnormal lab values, which I thought to be new, but because I had access to the system, I was able to see easily that this was the patient's baseline condition and there was nothing to be worried about. The patient didn't need to be admitted to the hospital. Saved that patient all kinds of time and discomfort, not to mention the uh, cost savings involved. Part of my workflow. I come in in the morning, I pull up my, my charts and I go right into Health InfoNet. Um, I've been using it in tandem with my medical record. I find it useful when I'm looking at ED admissions or discharges on patients that may be coming in the next day or that I'm seeing in the afternoon and I try to get the reports, lab reports, um, any hospital admission, discharge, med rec, anything I can get my hands on before they come in. Have you been admitted to the hospital or been to the emergency room in the last six months? And they'll say, no, or gee, I think I did once, but I don't remember when. I can log on to Health InfoNet and it's right there. The impact of coordinated care with health information technology um, at its base has been theoretical to this point. One very critical part of what Bangor Beacon is doing is the use of measurement and uh, the evaluation of impact and the effectiveness of the work. The more we're able to achieve efficient and effective care, the more care we'll be able to afford for the whole population. There's certain measures and metrics that um we want to follow for our patients, either for part of patient sent medical home or for what I'm doing for the Beacon Grant now. And um, I use Health InfoNet for that, so I can find out when they've had eye exams or different tests done, you know, as far as quality, so that those measures are in, in the patient's chart. They've actually demonstrated impact. They've actually shown medical impact as a result. It just makes uh, patient care so much uh, safer and cost-effective and timely. Bangor Beacon is, um, uh, is a beacon that we'll all be looking toward for a future direction. I sat there one day having a hard time breathing and I thought, well, why me? What is this? And I thought, Come on, you know what it is, and you know why you've got it. So, I think I had maybe half a pack of cigarettes, and I got up and threw them in the trash, and I've never had a cigarette since. Once you've got COPD, it's there for the rest of your life. She was in and out of the ER on a fairly regular basis, and like she had had three or four different hospitalizations, some of which were over a week long. Um, and at one point, it was very serious. She came home with new oxygen, a hospital bed, um, lots of different medications. Um, so it was pretty, pretty.
pretty serious for a while. In the year and a half that I've been working with her, she's only been in the hospital one time since and only for, I think it was one or two days. Biggest thing was getting her to self-manage, um, watching her sodium intake, teaching her what that meant, what sodium is in, first off. Um, making sure that she was monitoring her weight on a daily basis, watching for signs of exacerbation like fluid in her legs, um, and just you know really being there on a regular basis. I've seen the difference the care management makes with my patients. Um, I've had a couple of patients um, who I was working with through all sorts of programs and modalities uh, trying to get, for instance, their blood sugars better because they were diabetic. The care management came in, I got to see within a period of six months the um, Blood sugars improved dramatically, the person started to do much better, and that's happened with several patients. I think people really want to know that they're cared about, they're not forgotten in the three months between an office visit, or, you know, they're not just being left. They know that someone cares. When she talks to you, she makes you feel as though you are the only patient she's got. I've never met her, but I feel like she's a friend you know, an old friend. It's really nice to know that, you know, that you matter to somebody and that you're helping them be um, self-sufficient. The focus is changing. I think that probably the Bangor Beacon will probably see back in five years as sort of being the precursor to what's happening with the ACOs. It basically gave us a chance to get everything up off the ground so then we can sort of roll it forward into the accountable care organizations. My quality of life is so much better. It's such a peace of mind. It's great.